Hello and welcome back to another part of uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Um, I already did that part to the right. Um, I did a bit better, I got a lot of antidotes on the way there. Uh, I did die again though. I did find uh, another item, however. The intelligence ring, I even have two, so obviously it increases your intelligence by quite a lot. But I'm not really interested in that, I already have an item that does that. And I also managed to figure out what the combination Venus card and Cockatrice does, because I tried out some some of the cards on the way, which is probably a reason why I died, because some of them were really shit. What this does, uh, the reason I haven't it discovered here is because I died, like I said, is uh, it gives you experience while you walk. Sounds really good, but, oh, whoops, accidentally turned off my thingy here. Uh, yeah, we want that and that. It sounds really good, but <laughs> it, it, you literally have to walk. You can't run. That won't give you an experience. And uh, also, it gives you maybe one experience every second step. It's really, really slow. So it's not really useful. Unless you're grinding, maybe. So I found a good... Like you. You have to be a bit better at killing those bees. You be a bit proactive. Then they're not much of a trouble. Um, now we have another... One of these flowers. One way to deal with them was actually to uh, jump over them, which I accidentally did once because they don't turn around. But jumping over them is really hard, so you take a lot of damage trying. Or at least I did when I tried again. So it's not a method I recommend unless you accidentally manage to do it. Uh, so let's see. What we have over here to the left. Probably another one of those poison armors, and then some sort of little secret. Uh, great, got poisoned again. And let's see, there's another flower there, so let's swap to this immediately. As you see, I have a lot more antidotes because uh, I was a bit more lucky with drops. Oh, he's gonna lunge for me, or oh, he's gonna do that. What? Sometimes my poison cloud isn't really doing what I wanted to. This is good because now it's in face height, height with me. Come little bee. Fuck's sake. Well, I have enough health. I should be able to manage. Okay, uh, we actually have a new area here. So um, I am going to swap cards again. Oops. And see where we are. I don't know how much is left on the poison, so I'm gonna leave it. Probably gonna regret that, but you know. Okay, we have one of those poison almost like I thought. Can I? I'm lucky that this poison cloud won't reach me until it fades out. Yeah, I was lucky. We have a door here. Let's check that. Okay. Um. A lot of places to go, but yeah, let's go this way. What was that? What was that? That is Mind Restore, probably Mana then, obviously. Can't be called Mana Restore, that would be too easy. These do a lot more damage than the old ones, so I'm gonna use my Cloud, because it's really good against them. So it knocks them back like that. Doesn't kill them, but I don't really care about that. I just want them to not interfere with my already very sucky platforming. Okay. Both love it and hate it when I have a hundred million... Oh, since we fell down here. Let's go this way. Oh, nice. When I have a hundred places to go. Um, obviously discovering new things is what makes this game so much fun. But I'm quite glad we accidentally found this little save. Let's try and... Oh, they are such a pain in the ass. I tell ya. It's not like I suck enough at this already. Ooh! That is actually another boss room. So yeah, I mean, let's go for it. What do we have? Oh my god, what the heck are you? Um... 
I have no idea what this guy does, obviously, so... Uh, we'll see how many... Okay, the entire neck does damage. So how am I supposed to pass that? I'm probably supposed to go... Oh, there are two. The fuck? And I have some lag here. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, okay, I, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. First of all, not do that. I'm gonna have to hit them from here for sure. I have massive lag fighting these guys, unfortunately. The fires are decent. Um, unfortunately, I'm falling down here. Let's see. They're a bit hard to avoid. I, I probably should jump up here. Or throw some axes at them. Come at me, bro. And then they drop things from the sky, which I most surely do not want in my face. Oh, you can actually do that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And then I want to jump up again before they... Oh, they do other shit though, of course. Okay, this doesn't seem too hard, to be honest. Uh, if you just don't get attacked in the face. The lag is a bit annoying, but a bit, I mean, like very... I'm lucky it actually makes this boss easier, but I'm probably not that lucky. Yeah, I was expecting that. But we were fortunate enough to find the save room. Let's get right back at it. Oh god. Oh double god. I prefer it if I wasn't hit by any of these before I fought the boss. I'm just gonna cut until I'm back at the boss, so it's probably gonna fail a lot of platforming again. So I'll see you at the boss.
Fuck yeah, killed it. Only took 500 years thanks to the freaking lag. And some sucking, obviously. Let's quickly find out what this is that I fought so hard for. Heavy ring. I know exactly what. Yeah. Certain boxes can be pushed. I have been looking forward to this little jewel. Uh, that means in the next part I can uh, check out both the boxes and the petrify um, places where we can climb petrify. Uh, I've been playing for ages, probably 40 minutes. Um, I did not save all the footage because it's just too much, unfortunately. I, I honestly can say I died maybe in total eight times, maybe? Something like that. Um, I will cut in some of the deaths that were part of the footage I kept. I had to throw away uh, about 30 minutes worth uh, because it just uh, bogs down my computer and wastes my time and I just wanted to kill this boss. The lag was really making it extremely hard to play that fight. Um, I, I thought for a while maybe there was something, I was running too many things on my computer, I turned everything off. I tried to do the fight without recording to see if it was uh, my recording program that did it, but it had nothing to do with that, so it's, it's just the program I used to run the game, unfortunately. Uh, so it, it, would, it wouldn't stop lagging, uh, there was nothing I could do with the lag. So I had to find a good position uh, to position myself to fight them, so I decided to focus on one of the heads. I didn't know if they shared health first, uh, I was hoping they would, but they don't. So I decided to kill off the more difficult one, the left head first, that does the fire. And uh, once that was done, the right head was actually very, very easy, because he only does the white ball and the like yeah, knock into the wall where the blocks fall down. The blocks, you have to be a bit lucky to avoid them, uh, but the white ball is really easy to avoid. So once the left head was down, uh, the right head uh, was pretty easy. It took a long time because I found the safest spot I could find, which was right like by their feet, and just stood there and took my time with it. So, um, so that's basically how I did it, and I'm very glad that it's over. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next part.